All right, folks, let's talk about um, Medicare and hearing aids, since we are <laughs> promoting hearing here on Hearing Loss Pathfinder. <laughs> okay, a blank there. <laughs> All right, so, you know, Medicare, unfortunately, does not cover hearing aids, not yet, um, you know, and, and you might ask why. You know, it might be the most obvious thing that, you know, if they're covering, you know, older people or people with disabilities, hearing loss is going to come up <laughs> at some point in their lives. And, you know, I, I read a little bit of history, and it seems that, you know, when Medicare was established in 1965, people weren't living that long. So the, the issue with hearing aids never came up. <laughs> so... So, you know, back then, they just didn't cover it. There wasn't a need, so, you know, out it went. Um, to add it in to Medicare, which hopefully, you know, there are some legislatures, that, the legislation that is being looked at for Medicare to cover hearing aids at some point. Um, <coughs> and, you know, it just might. But right now, because it's a federal program, it takes a lot to write it into law because Medicare is a federal program and it's, it's complicated and law has to be written into it for Medicare to say, okay, we'll do that. If you tell us to do that, we will go and do it. Um, so, but nobody has been able to write you know, a law that will pass yet for the House and Senate. So we'll just have to wait um, however, there is uh, advantage programs, which are insurance companies that um, sign up with Medicare and say, we'll, we'll administrate, you know, we'll help you case manage, you know, these, these people or this group of people. So <coughs> Medicare says, okay, we're going to give you this pot of money based on the history of the patient. So here you go. <laughs> And so that Advantage program has to administrate that fund very carefully and wisely uh, for that patient. And then um, they also have another pot of money. I'm not sure where that all comes from. It might be investors and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> but they do have another little pot of money that they invest in uh, hearing uh, and they invest in eyesight and dental. <coughs> so when you are looking at an Advantage program which is linked to Medicare, uh, then they say, yeah, we'll, we'll cover hearing loss for you. <coughs> so, and these are the steps. So there's a variety of private insurance companies that assist Medicare in managing the funds, and then that insurance company has a small pot of money that they invest and have available for you for vision, hearing loss, and dental. <coughs> so it might be to your advantage, <laughs> no pun intended, to choose an advantage uh, insurance uh, that you can use and assist yourself in, in other areas that Medicare cannot cover because it's not in their uh, regulations. So that's what the advantage programs are there for. Um, You'd have to, my, my recommendation is you speak to a licensed um, Medicare representative and they will uh, guide you through. <coughs> they can't tell you which ones to choose, but they can uh, help you look at the different uh, Advantage insurance companies and see which one would fit you the best. Uh, so that they can do. Uh, so they're, they're kind of like... Uh, advisor. They can't tell you what to choose, but they will help you look at the different programs. So there's Medicare, just plain Medicare is Part A and B, and then there's uh, Part C of Medicare are the Advantage programs, and Part D is the um, pharmaceutical medications. Uh, so and, and these Advantage programs also cover medication. So that's Part D. So C, 
is the Advantage programs, and Part D is the um, other uh, pharmaceutical medications, uh, pharmacy type programs for you. So um, you can get on the line and, and look for a Medicare representative, and they will assist you in looking at the different programs. They won't tell you which one to choose. <laughs> but they look at the, um, the pros and cons to the different plans out there that are attached to Medicare. So, um, so that's, that, that might be for you if you know that you know, you're getting up there in age and you need, you'll need vision, you'll need dental. So I just recently you know, got my um, vision all checked out and, and new glasses. So. So how do you how do you like my frame? <laughs> so I hope I look smart. <laughs> but I really needed glasses, and I have some other issues with my vision. So it was really important to have a, a part C in my in my Medicare plan. Um, <coughs> I don't know how my plan will assist me with my cochlear implants yet, <laughs> but we will find out for sure. <laughs> when I see my audiologist, and we'll discuss all that. Um, but it, nowhere in my plan does it say anything about cochlear implants. Now, sometimes when the insurance companies don't say anything about anything, about a particular thing, legally, you know, you can work, work into an agreement with the insurance company. But really, it might be some, it might be covered somewhere and tucked under uh, one of these uh, pieces of paper in my <laughs> plan. I just haven't seen it. Um, but it is a durable medical equipment and it's stuck in my head. So <laughs> they're, they're just going to have to <laughs> help me out. But anyway, uh, so, so that's, that's, that's the issue with Medicare A and B, just plain Medicare. Uh, they, they do not cover hearing aids. But if you sign up for an Advantage insurance company that's attached to Medicare, they will assist you in, in managing Part A, Part B, and then they might have, you have to look at the extra programs that they have in there. Uh, vision, sometimes they have vision and dental, but no hearing. Sometimes they have all three. So um, it's good to check into that if you're on Medicare. So I just wanted to say that uh, I'm not a licensed representative, so I can't say anything further about that, but I just wanted to give some uh, basics about uh, Medicare A, B, and C are the Advantage programs. A and B belongs to Medicare fully, and then C belongs to the Advantage programs that help Medicare administer the funds for you. And then part D is pharmaceuticals, you know, money. <laughs> so for medications. So any, those are the, that's the basic information I will give you. I'm sure you might have to be referred uh, by your primary <coughs> to an ideologist. That's, that's my guess. It just depends on, on the uh, Advantage program, on the Advantage insurance company that you signed up with. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I needed a referral to go to my audiologist. <laughs> I thought that was a little crazy. But, <laughs> but I'll need to talk a little bit more with my, with my plan because... Um <coughs> because my hearing apparatuses are really stuck to my head, so there's, <laughs> you know, either I go or I go to get them checked, so <laughs> once a year. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what my plan says once I um, meet up with my audiologist in, in August. <laughs> I'll have some more education uh, on, that, on that area. So for any further questions, uh, you know, you can post them down below, but my strong suggestion is that you look up a Medicare licensed uh, insurance person to, uh, or customer service to, to get more information about uh, who out in the field is 
uh, doing uh, advantage plans. You know, and some of them, you know, uh, there's Humana and there is um, Wills United is uh, has a advantage plan. Uh, I don't know if Blue Cross will shield. I'm not sure. But anyway, those are the, there's a few, quite a few companies out there that you can pick and choose uh, and see which ones, you know. And, uh, you know, there's all kinds of rules and regulations to the game, uh, per se. So I, I think you might have to be with the Advantage plan for so many days or so many months. And then if it doesn't feel right, I think you can change. But you'd have to check with, with the licensed Medicare um, uh, ad uh, advisor. So they're called advisors. So and in, in get some good guidance on, on that. Um, some plans are, are better than others. I would pick one that's, that's doing well in their numbers and their administration of that pot of money that Medicare gives them. So <coughs> and some do better than others. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say about uh, hearing loss and hearing aids. Uh, for the Medicare uh, group, uh, the Advantage Insurance Company seem to be using, uh, I've never heard of these brands. <laughs> so uh, I'll just name them, uh, you know, and they could be covering other brands, but these brands, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the quality. I don't know if, you know, uh, the the one thing I could say is to go over to uh, Dr. Cliff. He has a uh, YouTube channel, and he talks a lot about these hearing aids and can give you a little bit of insight. Um, so, for example, uh, many hearing aid companies on the market offer inexpensive and reliable hearing aids. I don't know about that. <laughs> but I have a big question about that, but here it is. For example, in our Best Affordable Hearing Aids review, uh, our reviews team choose MD Hearing as the most versatile hearing aid, Audien as the most affordable, and Audicus, Aud Aud Audicus, <laughs> Audicus as best for Bluetooth. Is it good in anything else is my question. <laughs> so, To read more about these brands uh, in our MD Hearing Reviews, uh, Audien Review, and Articus Review, uh, and I'll leave these links down below, as always, so you can take a look. This, this um, article that I'm basing it is, is well um, written, so that's where I'm finding this information. Uh, but uh, again, I've never heard of these brands, and I don't really know how good they are. The ideologist that you would go to would know, <coughs> and they'll know if there's any wiggle room to look at other hearing aids uh, for you. And what are the downfalls? What are the benefits of, of each uh, hearing aid? So, you know, that's, that's what I want to caution you on. You know, hearing aids are pretty expensive, uh, so all around. So, you know, <coughs> and they have a chart here for uh, the different hearing aids that are out there in the market for Advantage Insurance Companies. And uh, you can take a look at uh, the cost, and you might flip over, but <laughs> hearing aids in general are, are expensive uh, because of the the... It's a very small apparatus, and it has a lot of different sections to it. It has a computer chip that they need to work on diligently to make sure that it works, you know, appropriately. So the different companies, Jabra, Enhance, uh, Audien, Ergo, ND Hearing, and Articus, um, you know, there's a chart that you can take a look at, and... Uh, and uh, that might be helpful. So, 
so it's all here on this page that I'm following. You know, because I don't, you know, when I'm looking at programs or I'm looking at law or I'm looking at, you know, rules and regulations, I'm always looking at an article that comes directly or indirectly, but well written articles that, you know, that I'm not going to spout out something that is incorrect. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so this is really important, folks. If you want to understand a little bit more uh, how hearing aids are covered, and again, they're not covered by Medicare. They're covered by, um, you know, the, the, the advantage, one of the advantage programs that you might choose um, because they'll either co cover just vision Sometimes they'll just cover hearing, or they'll cover just um, dental, but they might cover all three. So it, it just depends on the program that you choose. And you know, you got to look into into the future. Take your crystal ball <laughs> and see which one will match your needs um, as as we age. You know, as we age. So. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, feel free to click that um, that like button down there or over there. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> and uh, feel free to look at some of the videos that might pop up at, at the end of, of this video. So uh, that will also would be awesome and helps the program grow. All right, take care, and I'll see you in one of the other videos. Thank you.